In this lesson, we're going to learn about variables. A variable is a placeholder for information that can change. For example, the temperature. The temperature is always changing. Today, the temperature might be 52. Tomorrow, it might be 78 degrees. And another day, it might be 100 degrees. But it is never the same temperature every single day. It's always changing. So temperature is a variable. Age is also a variable. Today, I might be nine years old, but I'm gonna get older and in a few years, I'll be 16 years old. And a few years after that, I'll be 54 years old. I'm not always the exact same age every moment of my life. It's always changing. Age is a variable because it changes all the time. The days of the week is also a variable. Today, it might be Monday. Tomorrow, it's going to be Tuesday. And the next day, it might be Wednesday. The day of the week is not always the same every single day. It changes from day to day. So day is a variable because it changes. In Python, variable is written a certain way. This is an example of how a variable might be written. The first part in orange is the name of the variable. A variable is always equal to a certain value, so we add an equal sign. The value in this example is 3. So heart in this example is the value of 3. A variable name does not have quotes. Even though heart is a word or a string, it does not have quotes because it's the name of a variable. Let's take a look at a program in Coasters that illustrates how we use variables. Before we run the program to see what it does, let's take a look at the code. I see that on the first line, it's setting a background of space. And then right underneath it, I see three variables. I know the variables because it has the equal sign. The name of this variable is star points, and it has a value of 20. This variable is named star size and has a value of 50. This variable is named star color and has a value of aqua. I then see that we have eight stars that have been added to the stage. Let's run our program and see what it does. Okay, I see that space background, and I see the eight yellow stars. But I've decided that I don't want yellow stars, I want red stars. If I look at the code, I see right here on star one that it has the word yellow that I can change to the word red, and now I can have a red star. I want all of them to be red, so I'm gonna change each one, erase the word yellow, and type in the word yet, red, and you'll notice that I have to do this on each star one at a time. It takes quite a bit of time. Imagine if I had a hundred stars, how long that would take. Now they're all red. But you know what? I don't want red. I want aqua. I remember that at the top of our program here, it has a variable called star color, and that has the value of aqua. I could use this variable to change the color of the stars. I'm going to type that right here instead of the word red. Now, for this star number one, instead of having the word red, it takes whatever value star color is. Right now, the value of star color is aqua. So if I run it, I have an aqua star. I could do that for the rest of them. Just like I replaced the yellow with the word red, I can replace the color name with the variable. So now every single star will just use whatever value I have in the variable star color. Now they're all aqua. 
Now, if I wanted white stars, I wouldn't have to go through each one of these and type the word white. Instead, I come to the variable and I change that to say white. Because each star is using the variable, it will automatically take whatever that value is. So if I run it, now I have all white stars. I notice that I also have a value, or excuse me, a variable called star points with the value of 20. So each star has 20 points on it. If I don't want it to have 20 points, maybe I only want it to have 5 points. Remember, a variable can change. So I can change this value to anything that I want. I'm changing the 20 to a 5, and now each star has only 5 points. I see that the radius, or the size of the star, is 5. If I wanted to change the size, I don't want to have to do that on every single star. I'm going to replace that 5 with the variable star size. That way I can change the star size variable and change all of these stars all at once. Right now the variable for the star size, or excuse me, the value for star size is 50, which is quite a bit bigger. There they are. Variables can change. If I don't want it to be 50, maybe I only want it to be a size of 20. I can change it in the variable and it changes for all of them. That's a good way of using variables. I can use a variable anywhere in my program and I can change the value for the variable at any time that I want. There are two things to remember about variables. First, Variable names don't get quotation marks. Even though they look like a string, they don't get quotation marks, even when you use them in the code. Notice that star points, star size, and star color do not have quotation marks. The second thing to remember is that the value of a variable can be either an integer or a string.